On this episode, I'm going to show you how to easily fix the most common issue why your air conditioning will stop working and could save you hundreds to thousands of dollars by doing this easy fix. So make sure you stay tuned. Hey there friends, welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. This is probably the most common HVAC service call people make and they get charged so much, but it is very easy and cheap to fix. So what I'm talking about is if you remove this cover from your AC unit, it's this little cylinder piece right here and it's called a capacitor. And just like a car battery, this will go bad over time and Unfortunately, you will have to change it out and people make the service call and they, they, they do get charged so much. So unfortunately for me, it happened to me a few years ago and I asked uh, HVAC tech to go and check it out and they did charge me over a thousand dollars to get this thing fixed and replaced. So here's a little proof of that. I'm not gonna mention the company that did the work for me, but here is the proof and the invoice and they charged me $1,102 and a couple of cents just to get this replaced and you can get this fairly cheap and you can do it easily so i'm going to show you that right now so make sure you stay tuned on this video i'll show you how to remove it and also how to test it so that you can do this for future and you don't have never have to call an hvac tech to replace this for you ever again on your ac unit there's a panel somewhere on the corner where you can see that there is a detachable panel bolted down by these screws on each end use a flathead screwdriver to unscrew this or you can use one of these tools this one is by black and decker make the job a little easier and it's interchangeable bits at the top it's an eight millimeter bit you can make this into a straight as a light and it is rechargeable If you're interested on this or any tools that I use within this video, I'll leave the links and items of those in the description down below. So you're probably wondering, what does a capacitor do? Well, it's pretty much like a battery and it gives your fan or your compressor a jump start so that it will turn on. So that's pretty much its function and it will go bad over time. So you're probably wondering, what is the science that my capacitor is bad? Well, first you gotta go and do a visual checks. If you start seeing the top part and it starts to look like it's rusted or there's buildup or even mushroomed at the top, and sometimes it just looks perfectly fine, but it's still dead. So there's a proper way to do it and you have to test it to see if it works. So I'm gonna show you now how to test it and what are the replacement options that you can do to replace this. Just like any energized equipment or anything that runs through power, the first thing that you wanna do safety-wise is shut off the power from its breaker. You can shut off the power from your main circuit breaker or there should be a sub panel right here. Easily access this. All you have to do is open this up just pull this and this switch should come out now make sure you put this in a safe place or somewhere that you won't lose it and just close this back up now you have the capacitor exposed right here now for safety wise before you start doing any work on this you want to discharge any retained power or any electricity that is stored in this capacitor so the safest way to do that is you want to take an insulated screwdriver make sure you hold it on its insulation and just touch the terminals it's safe to just go and touch every terminal like that so that it can discharge any stored power in there once you do that then you can safely take off the terminals right here. I would highly suggest that you take your camera phone or any type of camera use your smartphone and just take a picture of where the orientation of the wires are so that you can easily know where to place it back on when you place it with your new capacitor. But to make your job a little bit easier, screw that so that you can easily take out the capacitor. So you notice how each one of these terminals have a name on them. So one says fan, the other one says HERM. So HERM just stands for hermetically sealed compressor. And the other one C has a C for common. Now, if you have one that's fully corroded or you can't figure out what it is, you always want to observe the terminals. The fan right here always have at least one or two prongs on them. The common terminal always has four prongs. One, two, three, four. And Herm, it always has three 
on there okay so if you ever get lost or if these are erased or you can't figure it out those are the what to look out for you can take your needle nose pliers and just easily take these out like this so you just come out like that let's go and let's talk about what these mean and how to test it hey there friends sorry to interrupt but if you're finding this video super helpful so far please kindly hit that like button and that subscribe button down below it'll greatly help out the channel thank you so much let's get back to the video now you're probably wondering how do i go about testing this to figure out if this capacitor is in good condition the important ones that you really need to focus on is right here where it says mfd which is microfarads these vary in numbers sometimes it has 70 plus 5 70 10 35 5 it all varies each each AC unit has a different rating. Mine says 45, five microfarads. And sometimes it's hashed, sometimes not like plus like that. So sometimes it has 45 slash five, depending on what the manufacturer is, plus or minus 5% between those once we start testing it. I'll tell you what these numbers are. 45 is the compressor and five is the fan. Just make sure that when you get a replacement capacitor, it has the same numbers that it says exactly on what your old one is but i highly suggest that you get yourself this is fairly cheap this is around nine dollars or ten dollars now probably and i got this on amazon and it measures capacitance you want a, my, a multimeter that has a capacitance symbol right there and if you're interested on the same tool it's fairly cheap i highly suggest that you have one um, check it on the description on the link on the description down below i'll have a link for this multimeter and all the other tools that i use within this video i'll leave all the links on the description down below as well so what i really like about this multimeter is that it has two options you can either use the pins and it has these adapters where you can use it for the alligator clips all you have to do is insert it through the hole right here and they easily transform into alligator clip style and it just slides right in like that let's test out the compressor rating and it has to read 45 microfarads take any one of your clips black or red it doesn't matter and you're going to place it right on the c which is the common terminal okay and then to get that number you want to put it right on top of the herm so there we go we are reading at 44.5 and if you look right there it's plus or minus five percent of 45 so we're within that range now let's test out the fan you want to keep where the common is and all you have to do is put this and place it right on where the fan is okay now it's reading at 4.9 which is plus or minus close to the 5% rating on the five microfarads. So this is a very, still in a very good condition capacitor. So this capacitor cost me around 10 to $11 on Amazon and the whole service charge, me getting charged to get that replaced on my AC unit cost me over a thousand dollars, which I could have done this all myself, could have saved me a ton of money. Now there's also a different capacitor that I wanna to introduce to you that if you're unsure of getting this one, there's a universal type, there's a universal one that will work in most of AC units. And this is called Turbo 200 Universal Motor Run Capacitor. Comes with the capacitor itself and a few terminals right here, which kind of looks very intimidating, but it's very easy to use and I'll show you that in a bit. And it comes with these jump cables as well. Also comes with these tie down straps with a screw as well, replacement, so you can tie this down. This is fairly easy to use. If you look around the capacitor itself, there's different ratings. There's the green 2.5 microfarads, the red 10 microfarads, the 20 microfarads, two, the 25 microfarads, and there's two whites right here, which pretty much measures for the fan. So this is considered the fan mic for the fan ones. So if you're looking at this and you're comparing these two, these two white terminals are pretty much just your fan right there. Now let's start off with, for mine, I need a 45 microfarad rating for the compressor. So I just look and do the math. Look at the ratings. 
there's a 20 microfarad and a 25 microfarad. So I add those two, which will equal to 45 microfarads. I just take my jumper, place it right here. And then I jump it right on the 25. It is now equal to 45 microfarads. Now to test that out, all you gotta do, take your multimeter, common is right in the middle. Clip it right on the common and just pick any terminal that you want. For me, I'll just, let's just do the, the yellow one since it's open right there. Now, if you look right there, we are reading at 46.5, which is around that range. And let's do a little experiment here. Let me take out one of the jumpers and notice how it just reads 20 microfarads, which is because it's only connected to the yellow right there. If we place it back on, it just goes to 46.4, which is close enough to 45. This is pretty much considered as the Herm. So it is very important though, that when you put that connector, you put it onto the highest value. Okay, friends? So once you connect this back into your AC unit, make sure that you connect that to the highest value, which is the 25, because 25 is higher than 20. Okay, friends? Now let me repeat that. When you connect this back into your AC unit, make sure that this is connected onto the highest value. For us, the fan is reading at five microfarads. So and again, there's two of them. There's two fans. There's, there's one for a low 4.0 microfarads and there's six point microfarads. All we have to worry about is one of these. And now we're going to connect it to the highest value, which is the six microfarads, five microfarads right there. I know it's kind of confusing or whatnot, but you always just look at the high value right there. 6.0 microfarads rather than this. Now, if you have a 10 microfarad fan, what you're going to do, same thing, take your jump start, take your jump jumper cable, connect the two right here. And that should equal to Right there, 10 microfarads for the fan. Oh, we only need one, so I'm gonna eliminate one right here. And it's just reading a 4.7 with a 5% value right there. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, if any of this is confusing, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll be gladly happy to answer any of your questions. But again, this universal motor run capacitor is really, really nice to have and it's handy to have, okay? So since we only need the five, again, same thing. If you need a 10 microfarad fan, what you're gonna do is you have to connect it to the highest value fan, not the 4.0, but the 6.0 microfarad. So if you need these, a 10 microfarad fan, always connect your fan terminal to the highest microfarad terminal here not here. Again, friends, you can get both of these on the link on the description down below, especially this one. I highly suggest that you get one of these universal motor run capacitors because they're just so handy to have. And if one of your friends um, AC unit goes out and they need a capacitor, you can easily just help them out right quick because you can use this on multiple ranges of microfarads and super easy to use. If you're interested on this one, I'll leave the link on the description down below. And if you just want to stick with this type of microfarads and I'll leave all other ratings as well, I'll leave that link on the description down below as well. I'm going to save this for a rainy day and I'm going to go and install this one and let's go put it back on. And just take your capacitor, place it onto the little tie down straps with the screw, put back the commons right on the common terminal. We know that the fan was on the brown herm, which was this yellow piece. Since we took a picture, you want to double check everything. Okay, so all the values are facing now. Let's place back the cover. I'll go back to your panel. And back on.
So there you have it friends. Now you know how you can easily change out the capacitor on your AC unit if it ever goes bad and how cheap it is to replace. Now if you have any questions, please kind of leave it on the comment section down below. And if you found this video super helpful friends, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next video.